What's going on everybody? It's your boy. This is going to be my first video. It is for uh, T Spillings BU365. Like I said, this is something I knew that I want to do. <clears throat> it's an idea that I've had uh, for quite some time. I will say at least over a, uh, a year. Um, this is kind of give you guys a background of what it is. Then I'll talk, well, of course, and give a background and I'll talk about it. But, um, the whole thing is, um, <clears throat> like I said, and I will uh, probably throw some pictures in here. I don't know. It depends on how I feel about it. But, um, you know, it's all about me getting back to me. You know, uh, YouTube has been a good help in that. Uh, <clears throat> you know, actually being able to be Yarrell or, you know, hey, my moniker, tea spilling, you know, uh, from time to time instead of having to be you know work me all the time but in the process um <clears throat> i said i well i've had uh two knee surgeries so i've had a lateral release on uh both knees the let me see i had both of those believe it or not in 2013 one after the other i had the first one i believe in january and then the second one in may and this was all before i went to uh korea so I mean, you had that, uh, of course, not doing the right thing, uh, gained quite a bit of weight, went to Korea, you know, <clears throat> and I'm like, okay, was trying to get back, and my first year, you know, I was uh, doing quite well and trying to get back to where I was, and I even had a plan and everything. Towards the latter part of 2014 <clears throat> is when things started to get rough i mean of course mid 2014 i was in a brand new um <clears throat> i guess we could say place or back to doing my job because the first year i really wasn't so now i'm back to doing my job uh and towards the latter part of that year you know so much had happened you know uh bumps in my career uh dealing with stress and <clears throat> i am not gonna lie uh Yarrell gonna do one of two things. Well, one, well, I'm gonna do two things because I can't do the third thing. The third thing is put my hands on somebody, and you know, I don't want to put my hands on somebody. Let alone, well, I, actually, I don't want to cuss no motherfucker out and then put my hands on somebody. I'm trying to be professional in this video, though. I'm just, but I'm being honest. Um, so, you know, I sometimes tend to stress drink and stress eat. I am not gonna lie about that. I do. <clears throat> and part of me had sort of kind of lost uh, my. Uh, my passion to like go into the gym and take out my frustration there and a lot of it i'll be honest with y'all because we, we just talking right now i'll get to the bu stuff in a minute because this eventually rolls in there but there were so many times that you know i'm working the night shift i'm getting called in early and for meetings and i'm just like really is you couldn't have put this in the email and sent this to me or i'll come into some means you, you know have my pre-workout drink in hand i think the means over with so you know i mix it up drink it my body is like ready to go ready to go ready to go and then next thing i know we ain't going nowhere we're there for more bullshit that because that i could have done when i came in late on that night <laughs> mind you so now i'm pumped up can't do anything so now i just have all this rush to my body can't really do anything then by the time we're done done i have just enough time to go back to my room to you know get ready and then come back to why it was so much of that not to mention there were other things that happened trust me in december you guys will get some story times about some things that happened my last uh six months in korea but i will say my last six months in korea were the worst um from truly uh stress eating to my workload really compounding, you know, taking over as a facility chief where I worked. So not only am I working eight hour shifts, I'm having to go to meetings because some other things fell through again. Y'all will get that in the video later on in December. <clears throat> and, you know, I, I just didn't have time to work out. I was working anywhere from 12 to 16 hour days. And it was even rough to try to put out YouTube videos. Let me be honest, that was even rough. So, you know, and if y'all remember i was doing you know videos in my office when i wasn't physically doing my job and I try to get paperwork done y'all saw me doing videos in my office like it, it was to the point where the struggle was that real so yeah i i gained 
tons of weight, you know, to the point that I got up to 275 pounds. I know some of y'all probably be like, God damn. yeah, yeah, 275 pounds. Not cool. <laughs> Not cool at all. And, you know, even coming to North Carolina and everything, you know, it was one of those where I, I knew that I had to get back to me. And, you know, one thing is like, you know, like I said, I'm sex. <laughs> and I, I mean, I know that I am. But at the same exact time, 275 pounds. Ugh. So not good. <laughs> not cool. And even just try and, you know, I want to get back to me all the way back to me you know picking up you know things you know just try to get back just get back to the old y'all certain aspects not all the old y'all rivers shit i go back to being old y'all i don't know what the hell we're gonna do over here but <laughs> go back to you know old y'all in terms of looks and you know like i said my motivation mostly is you know well, i turn 29 next month uh but i turn 30 next year next month Turn 30 next year in December. Let me just put it that way. And hell, I want to do a 30. Th I want to do a dirty 30 birthday party. We will see how that goes. But uh, I can't do a dirty, dirt, a dirty 30 being 275 damn pounds. I mean, I could, but just not going to look right. So, you know, that right there has been my motivation. And, you know, because of that, um, like I said, I've lost uh, well over 20 pounds in two months. You know, it was one of those where just having to, you know, structure everything out. And like I said, I'm a Capricorn. Y'all hear me say that several times in the video. So I like to do a lot of planning and make sure that everything is done to the T. The biggest thing, is, of course, is the follow through. But have my plan and everything. Drop 20 pounds, you know. Yay for me. Uh, like I said, I think y'all probably saw that between, I guess, the last several videos and where I'm at now. Y'all probably see that I, I look a little bit different. Hopefully. But, uh, I'll, and then I find out from my sister, you know, Lady Nika, the blackout is in July. I'm like, well, uh, this is even more motivation <laughs> because my, my first goal is getting to 220. You know, that is the way that I was at prior to me having surgeries. And I was a built 220, you know, before all that happened, you know. And, and when I say built, I mean, when, when I joined the service, I was a fat 220. <laughs> Went down to 183, which I don't think I ever want to be that thin again, you know, because, like, that was absolute, that was, like, lean me, you know. Uh, but, you know, I think, like, getting back down to 200 190 pushing it is like max where i want to be but right now just trying to get down to 220 and then 200 and if i can if i can push it probably 190 by next december we'll see what happens but that was pretty much my motivation you know and again like i said 20 pounds you know lighter and i'm still going down and the whole premise of BU365, I know I'm like eight minutes and whatever in and now I'm all of a sudden truly talking about it. You know, in the name, you know, BU, it's all about being you, you know. I'm going to show you guys, like, in this video, like, just basic things that I've, you know, started doing in terms of, uh, you know, uh, workout template. If you want to go ahead and adopt that, by all means, go ahead. <clears throat> but the main thing is figuring out what works best for you and trying to figure out you know what it is about your life and trying to incorporate that into a lifestyle because not all about like, I don't want to use fitness but it is a lifestyle because that's what this is for me you know it's a lifestyle change is getting back to where the hell I was uh, way back when you know from you know the fitness aspect to you know even the uh, dieting aspect dare I use that word um, and even with the whole dieting aspect, you know, <clears throat> another part of BU is, you know, we're all different. We all, um, celebrate different holidays, you know, do different things throughout the year. And <clears throat> part of the, this plan is trying to show you guys how you can enjoy these holidays, you know what I'm saying? You can enjoy these days and, you know, still, you know, meet the gains that you want to make now mind you y'all have those months and there are certain months where it's so much going on in one month where might wreak havoc i don't know but you know it's one of those things where it's all about us working together and the whole 365 piece is 
it's year round. It's not like these uh, different, you know, commercial, um, I guess we could say fitness programs that are, you know, 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, because, you know, it's only for that duration. The reasons for that duration is because it's so much going on where most of them recommend where you're done, you have to give it a break because your body can't, well, not saying that it can't, but it should not sustain that tempo for that amount of time. So something like that, which I'm not saying don't do them, but, you know, that's just a small little piece. But try to, you know, create something or <clears throat> give you guys a template and let you guys create it for yourselves to where, you know, it's a year round thing. And it's something that you're doing constantly and, and trying to provide you guys with tools. And while I'm at it. <clears throat> do have a Facebook uh, page for this. Not a fan page, but a Facebook page. Uh, T Spillings uh, BU365. Oh my God. About the bourbon and everything. I would just say click the link down in the description box below and go over there. Like it. <clears throat> That's where, in addition to the YouTube videos over there, we can go ahead, I guess, dare I say the word, congregate. We can share different things. We can share pics. We can share recipes. We can go over there and motivate each other over there. Like I said, I want this to be, I guess we could say a movement and just a branch of what I'm doing right now, you know. And that's the whole thing, you know, being you 365 days of the year where, you know, you figure out what works best for you. Think about your schedule. It's going to take planning. It's going to take a lot of that. But, you know, going forth and doing it. And uh, before I take you guys to my computer, because, you know, I just want to walk you guys just through two uh, things, just kind of break down, you know, what I've been doing in terms of, you know, general workouts. And if you guys want to follow <clears throat> either, uh, I guess, Blueprint, go over to the uh, YouTube fan page and I actually have them saved as uh, pictures. It's like the very first post that I have over there. And I'm also going to show you just the uh, <clears throat> snapshot uh, calendar of December and just, you know, the holidays in which I will be observed or the special days, if you will. And just kind of generally talking to you guys about how I'm going to observe these holidays and still, you know, meet my fitness gains. And also, because when we get actually no, I'll wait till I get to the ah, I'm starting to get giddy now. <laughs> I'll wait till I get to that. But <clears throat> What you guys can expect from me is, um, like I said, we, I will at a minimum have monthly challenges where if you guys decide to take this, you know, walk with me, you know, monthly challenges, <clears throat> you know, little um, motivations here and there, you know, trying to encourage everybody, you know, because again, I want us to do this together. You know, like I said, you know, a year from now, I want us, or well, a year, okay, so December 1st, 2016, I want for us to, you know, I kind of come back and just see, you know, where we are, what, what, what worked for us, what didn't work for us, but you know, again, just trying to, you know, stay <clears throat> close knit about it, but you guys can expect that. You guys can expect, uh, you know, in the kitchen segments tailored to be 365. So if it's, you know, me, um, getting food prepared for the week or something like that you know kind of walk you through that you know meal prep just that type of stuff you'll see that uh what else uh <clears throat> product if any i'll still do product reviews but product reviews that are um i guess we could say specific to health wellness and fitness will be a part of that and you know just trying to get you guys along but definitely look forward to those challenges because i want you guys to be a part of those challenges as well so, with this portion, I'm done. I want to take you guys to my computer, show you a little bit of stuff on there, and like I said, you know, stay tuned because the very, like I said, hopefully the next BU <clears throat> video will be you 365 video that I do will uh, more than likely be <clears throat> my uh, December uh, T Spells BU 365 challenge. All right, all right. All right, y'all, so we're back. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all know I'm always clearing my throat, you know, mucus and everything. But uh, one of the first things I want to show you guys uh, here on my computer screen is uh, just a uh, layout for December. So on right here, you can see, you know, pretty much eight days pretty much lit up. 
Uh, and I mean, let's say you have a uh, Hanukkah, you know, I say it is eight days of, uh, I, I say eight days of deep fried food. I'll probably do a video more specifically talking about Hanukkah so you guys actually get a feel for really what it is, you know. But again, it's my favorite holiday. I mean, again, deep fried everything, eight days, you gotta love it. <clears throat> but, you know, like I said, you have that for these eight days. So I think we all know, okay, something deep fried is probably not the healthiest thing, but. And uh, kind of going back in time, you know, we have all of this time here. So a good example of BU365 and what the plan is, is I will more than likely be eating clean for, you know, this whole entire week up until sunset on Sunday. Well, I'll probably defry something. And the whole, the whole thing about eating super clean is, you know, okay, you know, reducing you know, my caloric intake, and like I said, I'll talk to you guys more about that in a separate video, because my caloric intake is probably going to be different from other people's, but, you know, have a specific goal that I'm trying to achieve, but, um, you know, just eat a little bit cleaner, you know, so still eat, you know, eat to the calories that I need, but just, you know, not as much processed food and whatnot, and then when we get here, you know, instead of, like, gorging <laughs> on deep fried food, more or less from, you know, Sunday or sunset on Sunday, because I probably just enjoy, like, a small little treat, but, you know, from the 6th all the way until, I want to say, maybe, like, the 11th, you know, probably just enjoy a small little something in addition to, you know, just my regular meals, you know, just a little bit of indulgence. Now, I'm not going to lie to y'all, come to 12, I'm probably going to, that's, that's going to be my cheat day, good Lord, like, I'm going to sit here, I'm going to have a little bit of everything, you know, I, whew, I'm going to eat that day. But, you know, it's save it all for that one day. So pretty much for from the 6th to the 11th, you know, restrict myself to, you know, just a little something, something that's deep fry, you know, that I, you know, make at home. Because, again, anything, we you know, you make at home more than likely is going to be a heck of a lot healthier than if you buy a process in a box or even, you know, fast food wise, you know. So, you know, do that and, you know, go ahead and eat to my heart at 10 on this day and then pretty much sunset uh on the 14th uh you know hanukkah is over and that's one of those where you know it's hanukkah like i said december is probably the worst example that i could use for you guys but i mean it's really just me being true to what it is and you know once hanukkah is over you know from the 15th all the way to approximately the 22nd but you know like i said some you know, right up in here is going to be some excitement. Y'all just need to stay tuned to YouTube, Periscope, and Blab. I'm on Blab. Y'all need to get on Blab if you ain't on Blab. But right here is going to be some madness. And, of course, my birthday. I'm going in for my birthday. It is what it is. I'm going in. And although I don't celebrate Christmas, I will be spending, you know, these two weeks with someone, and again, you know, like I said, y'all need to stay ready, because, well, here's the thing, when y'all see the videos on these two days, y'all know why, but I will, you know, spend, you know, not necessarily engage, engage in Christmas, but, you know, again, since I'll be at somebody's house, you know, just, you know, be a good house guest, but probably to my heart's content there, and, of course, New Year's, it is, it is what it is, and, you know, my best advice for anybody who's going to be doing New Year's is, take these three days right here to hydrate <laughs> and again you know because people eat crazy on the 31st you know so again try to eat clean if not from the 27th to the 30th at least right here and i mean that's just one of the biggest things is kind of like planning out you know what holidays fall where birthdays all this other stuff and if you know that okay i'm going to like a good example i, I don't celebrate thanksgiving i know you're probably like you don't celebrate a lot i know but like Thanksgiving, you know, for those who do celebrate, <clears throat> if you know that you're going to go all out that Thursday, you know, if at a minimum Monday to Wednesday, if you can Sunday, try to, you know, either reduce your caloric intake or just eat very, very clean, eat very, very lean and, you know, eat, you know, a little bit that day. And then, you know, when nighttime come, go ahead, eat to your heart's content, get your itis. Don't overdo it. <laughs> and then wake up Friday morning and, you know, just continue on doing what you're doing. So that's just, a you know, an example of uh, December. I'll pro If you guys want, I'll probably, if you, and this soon if you want, I'll do, hey, this is my snapshot of the month and, you know, or the upcoming month. And, you know, I can kind of talk to you guys about what I have going on. 
And the last thing is, uh, you know, two different workout plans. This one is one that I've used. Well, I said both are that I've used. This is one that I'm not that I'm probably not going to use right now. Uh, because like I said, I <laughs> try to get ready for the blackout y'all and my 30, 30, but this right here is just a, uh, workout plan. And then when it says no commercial workout, you'll see in the uh, second plan why it says that. But I mean, pretty much just, you know, <clears throat> for, um, uh, January, February and March, uh, you pretty much have, you know, one day dedicated to, uh, chest and back and core stability. Uh, one day dedicated to biceps, triceps, and shoulders with a little bit of upper abs and uh, legs and lower abs. And if you look closely at uh, January, February, and March, you know, for one month, you know, everything is pushed down. So where on Wednesdays you do biceps, triceps, shoulders, you're not going to do that on Monday, come out February. And then come March, where, well, and, and you know, you now will be doing our uh, biceps, triceps, shoulders, and upper abs on Friday. And a lot of, and a little bit of that is just a little bit of muscle confusion, you know, so it's just like you're doing it. And it's a re, and like I said, you're going to see that a lot of stuff changes <clears throat> uh, throughout the months, which it's all about, you know, kind of giving you a little bit of stability, but kind of, you know, throwing your body off ever so slightly to try to, you know, ensure that you guys are still, well, ensure that I'm still getting gains. This is if you choose to go with this. And come April is where, you know, gets a little bit crazy to where instead of you changing up every month, you know, generally if there's four weeks, you know, week one, you're going to do it this way, week two, and then weeks three and four just stay the same. For May, June, July, like I said, those are pretty much our summer months. <clears throat> and the whole purpose of it saying combination workouts is just what I like to do more or less is, you know, Pick an exercise from uh, each body part, make it different, you know, kind of have it planned out. And either in my room or at the gym, go and just like hit something from a different body part. And, you know, circuits. I love circuit training. You know, uh, I may do a video down the line. <laughs> uh, just showing you guys just a little bit of, uh, you know, how <clears throat> I like to do circuits. Uh, and... You know, kind of show you guys that, but that's all the combination workout really is. It's just combining everything into one workout or as much of it. And, you know, these combination workouts are anywhere from 10 to 30 minutes. Like, it's one of those where you're hitting circuits. You're going from one exercise to the next to the next, you know, increasing your um, heart rate, all that good jazz. And, again, during the summer months, everybody trying to, you know, go out and do their, you know, little things. So it's not the whole purpose of it is just to her give you a good workout, a quick workout, and let you go on about your day. And uh, from uh, August through December, a little like this is what I want to call a little bit more of, I guess you could say, just like isolating um, the body, or how can I say, isolation of uh, muscle groups, more or less. So the best example is going to be weeks one through five, which is more or less going to be August, where it's arms one day with core stability. And that's, you know, pretty much like planks and things of that nature. Uh, chest work on Tuesday, shoulder <clears throat> and upper abs. Um, third, excuse me, Thursday is back, Friday, legs and lower abs. And as you can see, the same thing <clears throat> with uh, January, February and March, where everything pushes down. So we're doing legs and lower abs on Friday and give yourself Saturday and Sunday to, you know, recover because you're going to need that after leg day, especially if you do it right. Now leg day is pushed up to Thursday. And doing ours the next day really wouldn't hurt. But as you can see, with how, as the weeks go on, you know, leg day is uh, creeping up further, further, and further up until you get to uh, the last few weeks, which is um, <clears throat> in December, which this right here is where I'm at now. Now, if you guys are wondering, well, where is the cardio? I do my cardio at the end of my workouts, anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes. And the whole purpose of it, you know, and the theory, you know, that I like to go, like, I mean, you have some people that will do cardio before to, you know, kind of loosen the body. I like to do it after. Because, you know, like I said, <clears throat> go ahead and help, you know, burn a little bit more of all that fat and whatnot. And my main cardio that I do is walking, but I like to change up between uh, walking, uh, doing the elliptical, doing the stationary bike, and sometimes doing the stepper. And, you know, like rotating what I do. So, you know, I get just, I'm, I'm just saying, it's like get some workouts done, you know. 
So, yeah, that's pretty much, uh, you know, that plan. And then the next one with the commercial workout is, uh, again, January. Uh, actually, did I say again January? Haha, -ha, no, that's where the change is. Okay. Um, pretty much January is what April would look like. And then uh, <clears throat> February through, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, February through April will be a commercial workout. So that's something, you know, like the P90Xs or the Insanities, something like that, which <clears throat> I have something totally different in mind that actually works for me. And like I say, it takes into account that yeah, I've had knee surgery. But do a commercial workout here, which when this time comes, yeah, I'm probably more than like, and I might have to push this back a month because February looks like it might be a crazy month for me. Hopefully not. But if not, you know, like I said I'll be doing a commercial um, <clears throat> workout here and I might do a separate uh, series of videos to detail just that whole process. We'll see what happens. And then, of course, during the summer months, May through July, doing a combination workouts, which if I'm <laughs> at the blackout, I'm going to need to be doing combination workouts then because, you know, like I said, it's going to be me hurry up, get it in, and then go out and do my little thug busy. Y'all know how I do. And then back to August and December, uh, just doing, you know, the same old same, you know, uh, just, you know, those isolation uh, workouts. And again, this is where I'm at right now. So this right here is, um, you know, just um, a little breakdown of how <clears throat> I have designed uh, my workout plan, whether I want to do a commercial uh, workout in between or not. And one thing that I would recommend is, again, just kind of sit down, kind of, you know, think about what you do in terms of your life. If you're active, if you're not, <clears throat> what works best for you. Think about where you live, different seasons. Like I said, you live in a place like you know, Chicago, Alabama, North Carolina, whatever, that has, you know, the different four seasons, then this might work. If you live in a place where you generally have hot weather, then you, it all depends on, I guess, whatever big events happen during certain time periods. But, you know, definitely. And the whole purpose of me showing you guys this is I have two different, you know, plans that I'll pick depending on the year. And uh, the main thing is, you know, knowing what, kind of having just that, I guess, foresight of uh, what's about to come. And kind of going from there and just planning and just working, you know, with what I got and what works best for me. So, yeah, hopefully, like I said, hopefully you guys, if you don't start in uh, December, you guys start in January. But go ahead, pull out your calendars for 2016, you know, start mapping out what's going on. If you want to dot one of these again, you can go to my Facebook fan page, not fan page, but my Facebook page for t -Spuns BU 365 and you can adopt one of these, you know, or if you, and like I said, you can even tweak it. The whole thing is this is just me giving you my template and you can sit here and do whatever you want to do with it. So hopefully you guys join me for this journey. And uh, yeah, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share. Go there to that Facebook page, like that. And while you add it, like my fan page for, you know, splitting all the tea. And I will see you guys on the next video, you guys. All right. I love you all. Bye.